from unexplained weight loss to constant fatigue. These common symptoms might be more than meets the eye. Could it be parasitic worms? Hello and welcome to our exploration of the alarming world of parasitic worms. These tiny, often invisible invaders are not just a problem in developing countries. They can affect anyone, anywhere. Parasitic worms, also known as helminths, are organisms that live inside a host, feeding off their nutrients and causing various health issues. They come in several forms, including roundworms, tapeworms, and flukes, each with its own unique way of surviving and thriving within the human body. Understanding how these parasites operate is crucial for maintaining good health and early detection. In this video, we'll explore how these worms make their way into our bodies, how they survive, and most importantly, the early signs that you might be hosting these unwelcome guests. Chapter 1. How They Survive Parasitic worms have developed remarkable adaptations to survive and thrive within the human body. Once they enter the body, typically through contaminated food, water, or direct skin contact, they find their way to favorable environments such as the intestines, bloodstream, or various organs. These worms are equipped with protective coatings that shield them from the harsh digestive acids in our stomachs. For instance, tapeworms have a tough outer layer that resists the acidic environment of the stomach and the enzymes in the intestines. This allows them to settle comfortably in the gut, where they can absorb nutrients directly through their skin. One of the most fascinating aspects of parasitic worms is their ability to evade the immune system. They secrete substances that can suppress the host's immune response, allowing them to live undisturbed. Some worms, like schistosomes, cover themselves with molecules that mimic the host's own tissues, making it difficult for the immune system to recognize them as foreign invaders. Parasitic worms also have complex life cycles that often involve multiple stages and sometimes even multiple hosts. For example, the roundworm Ascaris lumbricoides begins its journey as an egg in contaminated soil. Once ingested, the eggs hatch into larvae in the intestines, migrate through the bloodstream to the lungs, and then return to the intestines to mature into adult worms. This migration not only helps the worms to grow, but also spreads the infection within the host. Inside the body, these worms absorb nutrients meant for the host, often leading to malnutrition and other health issues. They attach to the intestinal wall, or lodge in the organs, causing physical damage and triggering a range of symptoms depending on the worm's species and the organs affected. Chapter 2. Early Signs of Worms Number 1. Unexplained Weight Loss Losing weight without trying can be alarming, and one possible cause could be a parasitic worm infection. These worms consume the nutrients that your body needs to function, effectively stealing your sustenance. As they feed on your food intake, you might find yourself eating normally or even more than usual, yet continuing to lose weight. This unintended weight loss happens because the parasites are taking a significant portion of the calories and nutrients meant for you. If you're losing weight without a clear reason, it might be time to consider if parasitic worms could be the culprit. Number 2. Abdominal Pain Abdominal pain is a common sign of many health issues, but when it comes to parasitic worms, this pain is often persistent and located in the lower abdomen. Worms can cause irritation and inflammation in the intestines, leading to discomfort and cramps. This pain can range from mild to severe and might be accompanied by bloating and gas. Persistent abdominal pain that doesn't seem to have a clear cause is a classic symptom of a parasitic infection, as the worms interfere with normal digestive processes and cause ongoing discomfort. Number 3. Diarrhea or Constipation Parasitic worms can significantly disrupt your digestive system. Some types of worms, like roundworms, can cause diarrhea by irritating the lining of your intestines. On the other hand, larger worms, like tapeworms, might cause blockages leading to constipation. 
These changes in bowel habits can be distressing and uncomfortable. Chronic diarrhea or constipation without an obvious cause is often linked to parasitic infections, as these worms alter the normal functioning of your digestive tract, resulting in irregular bowel movements. Number 4. Fatigue and Weakness Feeling constantly tired and weak can be more than just a sign of a busy lifestyle. It could indicate a parasitic worm infection. These worms deplete your body of vital nutrients, leading to anemia and overall weakness. Your body's energy levels drop as it struggles to function with a lack of essential vitamins and minerals. This chronic fatigue can interfere with your daily activities and your quality of life. If rest and a balanced diet aren't alleviating your fatigue, you might have a case of worms. Number 5. Nutrient Deficiencies Parasitic worms can cause significant nutrient deficiencies by absorbing nutrients from the food that you eat. This can lead to conditions like anemia, caused by a lack of iron or deficiencies in other essential vitamins and minerals. Symptoms of nutrient deficiencies include pale skin, dizziness, shortness of breath, and brittle hair or nails. These deficiencies can develop slowly and often go unnoticed until they become more severe. Recognizing these signs of nutrient deficiencies is crucial, as they indicate that parasitic worms are interfering with your body's ability to absorb essential nutrients. Number 6. Itching around the anus One of the most telltale signs of a parasitic worm infection, particularly pinworms, is itching around the anus. This itching is usually worse at night when the female worms lay their eggs in the perianal area. This can cause significant discomfort and disturb your sleep. The itching might also lead to secondary infections from scratching the area. Persistent itching around the anus, especially at night, is a common and specific symptom of pinworm infection, signaling the presence of these parasites in your digestive system. Number 7. Visible Worms in Stool Seeing worms in your stool can be a clear and an alarming sign of a parasitic infection. Different types of worms can appear in the stool, including roundworms, tapeworm segments, or pinworms. These worms might be visible to the naked eye or might require a closer inspection. Observing worms in your stool is a definitive sign of infection indicating that these parasites are living and reproducing in your intestines. This visible evidence is often the most straightforward confirmation of a parasitic presence in your body. Number 8. Nausea or Vomiting Persistent nausea and vomiting can be symptoms of a parasitic worm infection. Worms can cause irritation and inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract, leading to feelings of nausea. This can occur especially after meals, as the digestive system is more active. Vomiting can also occur as the body's natural response to trying to expel the parasites. Ongoing nausea or vomiting without a clear cause is a significant symptom that could be related to the irritation caused by parasitic worms in your digestive system. Number 9. Skin Issues Parasitic worm infections can manifest in various skin issues, including rashes, hives, and itching. Some worms migrate through the skin, causing visible tracks or lines. Others can cause allergic reactions, leading to rashes and hives. The skin can become irritated as the body reacts to the presence of the parasites or their byproducts. Persistent or recurring skin problems, such as rashes and itching, can indicate an underlying parasitic infection as your body reacts to these foreign invaders. And number 10. Persistent coughing or breathing issues. Certain types of worms, such as roundworms, can migrate to the lungs, causing respiratory symptoms. This can result in a persistent cough, wheezing, and shortness of breath. These symptoms can be mistaken for asthma or other respiratory conditions. As the worms move through the lungs, they can cause inflammation and irritation, leading to coughing and breathing difficulties. A persistent cough or unexplained breathing issues, especially when accompanied by other signs of a parasitic infection, suggests that these parasites may have invaded your respiratory system. 
thank you so much for joining us on this deep dive into the world of parasitic worms and learning about the early signs of infection. We hope this information helps you stay informed and vigilant about your health. Remember, recognizing these signs early can make a significant difference in getting the right treatment and protecting your well-being. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest health tips and informative videos. Your support means the world to us and it helps us continue to provide valuable content. Stay healthy and take care. We'll see you in the next video.